Today, I have the Hatson Blitz 30 caliber PCP air rifle out. This thing is an absolute monster. The prices are all over the board for this thing. On sale, you can get them as low as for $650. Off sale, on different sites, these can go for upwards of $1,000. Right now on Pyramid Air, they're only $800. Bucks. For $800, bucks, this thing is an absolute steal. Most PCP air guns are only gonna be manual cocking. This thing has semi-auto and fully automatic. There's only a couple full auto PCPs and those things are easily two to three times the cost of this. This is one of the best full auto budget PCPs that you can get. Now this Blitz is definitely not the most powerful PCP that you can get. It's still fairly accurate even to 70, 100 yards with pellets. I'm sure with slugs, it's you can take it even further than that. I've only used pellets through this so far. That's all I've been doing because the cost of these pellets versus slugs is just so much cheaper and you melt through ammo with this. That's my only regret. You're gonna be buying tins of ammo like crazy with this thing. Today, we're gonna be using these FX 30 cal, 44.8 grain pellets. We're probably gonna run out of those. So after that, we're gonna be using these exact Diabolo 44.75 grain pellets. Now I prefer these FX they're pretty much the exact same thing as the exact Diabolos. I'm pretty sure these are the same companies. This is just an off-brand. But I swear these work. In the Gauntlet, they're a little bit better. And in this Blitz, they're just a little bit more accurate. Unfortunately, for some reason, these are harder to come by. They're out of stock all the time. I'm still waiting on, I think, 15 or 20 tins of these to come in. Just because they always keep running out. Before we get started, I gotta sight the blitz in. I just wanna make sure we're dead on for this range. We're at about a little bit under 30 yards today. After that, we're gonna have a bunch of tests to do. We got sodas galore, we got the Texas stars, we got a two by four that I wanna split in half. We got chronograph readings, we got gel tests, we got watermelons, we got the dueling tree. There's a ton of things to try out today. So let's get started. Let's put one round through the chronograph. We're gonna get the FPS and the foot pound reading. Then we'll just blitz the gel block. Six hundred forty-two FPS. That was a little low. Let's do one more. This should be getting about seven hundred thirty feet per second. We're getting a little low, but let me dump this mag in there, and then we'll recheck in the next one. Last shot registered 687 feet per second. That was only about 47 foot pounds. Let's do another single shot, see what we get. Still in the mid 600s. I don't know what's going on right now. Let's do another dump though. That is one tight group with the pellets in there. I'm gonna come back to this and check once we're done with the whole video, see if anything changes. All right, so let's start off with one of these rinky dink 16 round mags. Let's see where we are on this paper. In semi-auto. Let's go for the far left center line. All right, I bumped that to the left just a little bit. That was a little bit of a sloppy group. Let's tighten that up a little bit better. Let's go for that middle head shot. Now slugs are definitely gonna group better, but just for the cost sake, these pellets still do the job. As long as I can hold steady. All right, I think we're good. Now that we're decently sighted in, let's do a full 33 round mag dump. Let's go for that top left head shot. That wasn't too bad. We had a collateral loss that soda. We're gonna put it back up there and take that thing out next. 
All right, I get carried away sometimes. Before we do the sodas, let's burst fire the stars down. The big boy on the left is gonna take some extra finessing. All right, we're gonna need a fresh mag for that last one. All right, big boy's up. A little more stubborn, but we still took it down. Now the fun part, reloading. Now these 16 rounders are not nearly as hard as the 33s. For this, we just swing open this window. We're gonna take the internal magazine. As we spin this, this is building spring tension. It can only go one way to build tension. So we have to turn this all the way till this nub here can't go any further. Then you're just gonna take your pellet I have my finger in the back blocking that hole. So if I put the pellet in, it's not gonna fall out. Now the pellet's in. And then once it's in, we just release. And you can see this move just a fraction. Now it's using that pellet to hold the tension in place. And once we're done with that, then we just fill in and keep putting these pellets in. Close the window and we're done. Now for these bad Larrys, with this one, you're gonna need this tool. It's basically just a little wrench. There's a nut on the back side. Actually, you know what? Let me go to the table and show you this one. Now, when it comes to this magazine, I place this face down like that. The wrench goes on at three o'clock. We're gonna keep winding this about a little over two times. As this arm comes around the second time, you do not want it to cover this hole or else you won't be able to put the pellet in. Now the pellet's in, we're gonna take this, turn it around. This needs to drop just a tiny little bit. If I move this cover over, it's going to strip a piece of lead off that, off that pellet in there. So with my finger on this back hole, I'm gonna place it on the back, and I'm just gonna turn this wrench, and that pellet's gonna fall just a tiny little bit. And now, we open the cover, and you just fill, just place them in each one. I'll do it real quick. It's as easy as just dropping them straight in. Until you have all of them loaded and once you're done cover just goes back on we're ready to go i forgot to mention this earlier so i'm going to say it now even though i'm like halfway through the video but we'll cut this in early this moderator this is a terminator industries moderator the blitz struggles when you put moderators on it there's a spring in here i'll just untwist this as we go there's a spring in there that when you put an adapter on the um what's it called shrouded barrel this spring i think this spring gets too much tension on it and it makes the blitz work a little bit of overtime this thing it's threaded to just fit into the shroud cap you don't need an adapter and with this setup i haven't had any issues with my blitz yet with uh, the donny fl and the ronin it worked until it didn't work i think it might have potentially actually damaged my um blitz where i had to send it back they needed to upgrade or replace the i know the hammer part of the hammer i need to get replaced i think some springs need to get replaced i think that was my doing though so if those fps readings are off now it could have been something i did to the gun i'm not 100 sure i'm just speculating here and if i'm to blame then i'm to blame if there's something wrong with this then there's something wrong with that but right now i think it was just something i did that caused that issue with this Terminator Industries moderator, I haven't had a single problem cycling. Because that's what it comes down to. The Ronin might work where it does cycle, but it might damage. Then when I got this replaced and it came back to my house with the Ronin on it, even just the adapter wouldn't even cycle. I put this thing on it, works absolutely flawless. I got nine sodas down there. We're going to do single fire. We're just going to see how fast we inquire those sodas. We're going to go, let's go far right and we'll go far left and we'll flip-flop back and forth until we make it to the center. All right, far right. This thing is actually pretty accurate, and even with this big scope on it, People don't think that 
you can acquire different targets that close that fast. At least I think that was relatively fast. Let's take out that spray paint. <laughs> that was hilarious, but now we have four more sodas. We're gonna do these in burst fire. 16 rounds, four sodas. Shouldn't be a problem. Wanna see if we can get some double hits on them. Hope that last one was caught on camera. We got that two by four out there. I wanna see if we can split this thing in half in full auto. I don't know how many mags it's gonna take me, but I at least wanna try it. Or maybe we'll just do like bursts or something. Okay, I think this is feasible. For those wondering, I am topping this off with air every 66 rounds. That was 33. We're about three quarters of the way there. All right, I think this is the last one and split in half. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, it's watermelon time. 33 round mag per watermelon. We'll do bursts on the left and then we'll full out of the right. Alright, maybe another mag into that one on the left. It's a little stubborn. Let's go down there real quick and check it out. All right, so that thing is officially shredded. Now let's full auto the right one. You can already tell that thing's splay in half. All right, let's check on that one. I think I cut that one in half. All right, these watermelons cannot stand. They have to be turned to mush. Two more mags. Now they're back to back. Those have been properly blitzed. They're just not exploding apart because all the innards are just raining out the bottom of the table. Now it's time for the dueling tree. Now in my past videos I've shown that it takes around 120 foot pounds to start moving those. As with the Gauntlet 30 with the 80 grain or 78 grain boat tail slugs. 40 grainers, it's probably gonna take, I'd say at least two to three rounds. Let's put one on this in semi and see what it does. See, nothing. Let's do like a three round burst. One more mag. Let's do this, then move on to the pendulum. It rocks it around, but you definitely need a volley to get it moving. Time for the pendulum. Let's see if we can actually get some momentum swinging in this thing with the hats and blitz. I'm down to 16 round mags. I'm pretty much all out of 30 caliber pellets, so we'll have to work with the 16 rounders. We can do four mags and then we'd have to fill up air again and between that it's going to settle down so four mags is pretty much what we can do we're going to have to go for the one on the left i don't think this is going to move anything else the only thing is in full auto this is going to be hard to keep on that target
sorry, that was kind of embarrassing. I thought I was feeding the mags quick enough to where we could maintain the, the momentum, but apparently not. All right, so before we wrap up, let's go back to that chronograph, see what we get for velocity here, and then we'll take out those steel animals. 728. I don't know what was going on before, but that's what we want to see. 657. I don't like that. 657. Actually, you know what? Since I just got like 15 errors in a row, I'm thinking maybe my battery's dying in my chronograph. I'm going to change it out next video. We'll bring this back out if people want to see this, and then we'll take new readings from there. So that's going to wrap this up with the Blitz. If you want to see this being brought out in more videos, just let me know. The only thing is, this is going to be like kind of a test with YouTube. This is full auto, but it's an air gun. And with YouTube's new guidelines, I don't know if they're going to be confused thinking this is something that it's not where this doesn't apply to their rules because this isn't, this is just an air gun, nothing else. So we'll go from there and see what happens. I was planning on making these members only content, but if YouTube starts allowing these videos like it has with some of my full auto Fridays with the Blitz, we're going to keep going from there. All right. So yeah.